Aloha and welcome to Wednesday Hotel Walkthrough. Today we're taking you on a tour of Sheraton Waikiki Hotel and as usual we're just walking through the common areas to show you what the pool area looks like, what the restaurants look like. We're not going into any rooms. So hopefully it will help you to make a decision whether or not you want to stay at Sheraton. If this is your first time to our channel, my name is Irina. And I'm Devon. And we are Just, just Be, Be Out. Out. We create informative travel videos to help you get the most out of your vacation. We have created hundreds of videos on everything Hawaii. So if you want to travel to Hawaii like a pro, be sure to subscribe to our channel. So without further ado, let's get on with the Wednesday Hotel Walkthrough. Just, Just be, be out, out with, with us. us. The Sheraton Waikiki is located right behind Royal Hawaiian Center. As you come in, you will see a beautiful man-made waterfall with tiki torches all around. At night, they do light the tiki torches. And let's cross the street quickly. You will arrive here on your taxi or uh, in your car and you will be greeted by the valet. The lobby has an open concept. And you will see right away this the statue of Honus. Honu in Hawaiian means sea turtle. If you guys looking for free things to do in Waikiki, this is the spot you can get free ukulele lessons right here every day at 4 p.m. or you can just ask for it and here you can also learn everything about ukulele. What's good about Sheraton Hotel is that they have a lot of little boutique shops but they look like galleries so you can just walk around and look at the art it's really cool. There's a clothing shop for you here, a jewelry store. The cookie corner store for all your cakes. And right in the center, you will see uh, the, re the registration and reception area. Sheraton Waikiki always does sand statues and once in a while they change out the statue. So this statue represents uh, the old ancient uh, way of tattooing and uh, uh, ancient Hawaiian tattoos represent different things. Some uh, uh, symbols you have to earn, some are uh, given to you to protect you. And especially for Christmas time. I just love the way they do their sand sculptures for Christmas. They do Hawaiian themed Santa Claus. That is awesome. Uh, here you will see a couple of other shops with clothes, the famous Kahala shop with the original Aloha shirt. And we just love coming to Sheraton Waikiki and just lounge around. Look how many awesome lounging chairs there are and tables. They also offer free games. One of them is pool. Uh, right now during COVID, all the games are limited. So they only have two pool tables. They usually have four. But my absolute favorite spot is the pond. So let's um, go around so we can show you. So it's gonna get overblown probably a little bit, no? Okay, so this is the fresh pond with koi fish. Look how giant these fishes are. And also there are some ducks uh, uh, coming here occasionally. And some of them, oh, th there is one right now. And sometimes they even have babies here. Look at all these colorful <laughs> fishes. One is as big as my leg. 
like orange, spotted, white, yellow. Oh, look at that one, yellow and black. They're so pretty. It is so peaceful here. And there are a lot of rocking chairs. And again, here you can come, come over here and just lounge and relax. And you do not need to be a guest at the hotel. I come here all the time just to relax get some work done if you have been following our instagram stories you'll see me come in here all the time they have free wi-fi so it's a really good um, chill spot right now it's very sunny because it's morning but once it comes around 2 p.m this entire area turns into shade and there is constant breeze so it's really nice and cool and relaxing so if you're looking to just uh, relax in the shade this is a perfect area but now let's head over to the pool area sheridan have two different pools one for keikis which means ki kids in hawaiian and one for adults only so from this side uh, all the rooms are facing towards Diamond Head. So if you get one of the higher floor rooms, you will get a beautiful view of Diamond Head and the ocean view, of course. See all the keikis are splashing around. They actually have a water slide. Look, the water is going down so you can slide pretty fast. Look, all the cake is a love in it. Look, there is one coming right now. We two of them. <laughs> this is awesome. So all these um, uh, areas are connected in this pool. There are cabanas all around that you can rent. There's beach services stand where you can get towels, buy sunscreen. And there is Baskin Robbins right on premises. Look, as you're uh, hanging out in the pool, you get this diamond head view. It is so gorgeous. And the pools are pretty shallow. It, they have a maximum depth of uh, three feet and 11 inches. So right here we have the deck of uh, Rumfire restaurant. It's uh, called the Lanai area of Rumfire. We will talk about, uh, about it a little bit later. So even the design is really cool. Let's look at all the lava rocks that elevate and you need to climb the stairs to go on the slide. So this is a beachfront hotel, but the entrance to the beach is actually a little bit to the side. Right there, all behind uh, the bush and behind the cabanas, there is just a concrete wall. We will show it to you in a little bit. But the beach entrance is super close anyway. Oh, look at that view. The waves look incredible. There is more private cabanas facing the ocean that you can get for rent with plenty of shade. There is a wash station. And... What I also love about Sheridan is that as you can see, they have a lot of greenery. There is rental activity stand for the beach itself. And ta-da! Here is the beach entrance. Uh, this uh, part of the beach is called Royal, Royal Hawaiian Beach and uh, all the umbrellas can be rented by anybody. It's not just for hotel guests. 
but as you can see this walkway we're gonna go around from the other side of the hotel you can see here there is no beach there is just a concrete part um, because Waikiki Beach is a man-made beach it can uh, constantly erodes and this part of the beach seems to be constantly eaten out so they just put the concrete wall and they decided not to have the beach this part of the Waikiki Beach is called Gray's Beach there is a um, catamaran ride you can take right from there or there are two other catamarans that you can um, get on from Royal Hawaiian uh, Hotel Here you can see the property of Sheraton, the pool and the cabanas. Wait until you see the other pool, the adults only pool. This area for all of you smokers and this is another um, open area that you can walk into the hotel property. Rampire has another deck where you can have your dinner or drinks, enjoy, eat and relax. And this is the adult only area. You can see there are uh, more cabanas here. Pre-COVID you used to be able to rent out cabanas, but now since the capacity is limited, it's only for guests right now. All right, ready for the epic view? Let's go to the adult-only infinity pool. Hello, uh -huh. good. Uh, yeah, just walking, thank you. Check this out. Good about this is that you get a beautiful sunset view. Just imagine, and into this pool you can actually bring your cocktails. So imagine it's sunset time, you're having a cocktail, hanging out at the infinity pool, getting all these gorgeous ocean views. And if you come this way, you also get a diamond head view. So you might wonder where do you get your drinks from? Well, let's go. I'll take you to the bar. This is the edge of Waikiki Bar. Pre-COVID, they used to have live music uh, around sunset time and even hula dancers. But right now, they discontinued it. So hopefully once we get to, oh, here's the little stage for it. And uh, hopefully when we get to 70% of uh, fully vaccinated residents uh, and all restrictions will be lifted, then they'll bring it back. In perfect time, the catamaran is coming out. So we've checked out the beach on one side of Sheridan. I will show you another smaller beach on the other side.
So even though you cannot rent any chairs here if you are not a guest of the hotel, but you can come to the bar and get some drinks and enjoy the view. We have a ramp for a disabled wheelchair. So clear. So this is just a very small piece of sand here, and then it continues going to another concrete path, and then leads you to another beach. So you get your two beach options, guys. And of course, Waikiki Beach has so many beach parts with sand that you can easily walk to. So let's go back to the hotel and I will show you all the dining options. So this restaurant offers breakfast and dinner. It's just a simple spot, but oceanfront nevertheless. So right now it is closed uh, because breakfast finishes at 10.30 a.m. And this place is called Kai Market. There is also a pizza place, but every time we pass by, it's been closed. So I don't know if they're going to reopen or not and when. There are restrooms, guys. If you are just, if you're not even staying at the hotel and just passing by, and want to use the restroom or if you're hanging out having your coffee there's a, the restrooms right there men and women and they're located right next to the edge of Waikiki bar they have the Honolulu corner coffee uh, coffee shop located here and I think they close either at one or two and this is the rum fire it is really famous for um, more like evening hangout spot not only for tourists but for locals as well they serve lunch and dinner and let's go inside and uh, check out uh, how it looks like so you have some seating lounging area in here it's pretty cool decor Then you have a private room here. I like the chandeliers. So the bar and the parties, of course, uh, not available right now during COVID, but usually a couple of nights a week, they have a DJ, the bar is packed, people are dancing indoors and outdoors. They remove all the table for, uh, for the dining. So after like 10 p.m., they stop serving food and there's only drinks at the bar. Uh, all this area is cleared out and you can dance here and on the outside on the lanai but you can have a dinner or lunch it's beautiful it's nice and breezy and here you can see the keiki pool Keep in mind, guys. Uh, 
Keep in mind guys, this is a very popular spot for dinner. And I often see lines <laughs> to, just to have dinner, so make sure you have reservations. And when they do have their parties, it is a cover charge to get in. They have an ATM here. Uh, the spa is located on some of the higher floors, and this is the entrance to get to your rooms. Uh, uh, to, on the, in the elevator. Here is a convenience store. It's sort of like ABC uh, Lawson Station. You can get water, drinks, alcohol, souvenirs, and all your necessities. Here is the hat store. Very uh, famous chapel hats. Another cute shop. And another gallery like store. Disney store. And another Disney store. It's perfect for cakes. So, this hotel is a really nice combination of family friendly for kids and for adults only. And I also want to show you another area. So we're back through the lounging area. So here you have escalators to go to conference rooms. They have several pretty large conference rooms. Again, more lounge areas where you can just bring your laptop, work with outlets, and here's uh, another station with games. Pre-COVID they had more uh, different games, but right now they're trying to limit, so uh, they don't offer everything. Uh, they also have a game room with like Xbox and all the um, games, but I don't know if right now it's open or not. So there's Baskin Robbins for you. So that does it guys, that concludes our walkthrough of the Waikiki Sheraton Hotel. We hope this video helped you make a decision whether you want to stay at Sheraton Waikiki or not. And we created a brand new series of hotel walkthroughs. And we will leave the link in the description and here at the end screen as well. Be sure to leave a comment. Let us know which hotel you would like us to walk through. Be sure to like this video. If you'd like to see more of it, let us know as well. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so when we publish the next video like this and other videos, informative videos we've put together in the past, along with playlists, you'll be the first to know. If you want to travel to Hawaii like a pro, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And if you know anybody who is planning to come to Hawaii, share our videos. We would really appreciate spreading the aloha and spreading the love. So as usual, mahalo, mahalo so, so much, much for watching, watching and just be out with us. us.